Hi there, it's Shell, and Clint is working on ink blenders. Still, um, today we are going to sew in our signatures, which is always fun for me. Uh, I'm just getting everything out of my kit that I use. I even have a pen in here. And then find my um my thing here. I'm sure it's gonna be the right size. Yep, that will work. Okay, so let me set this aside for a sec. I know we have some new people and Hi Yolanda. <laughs> I think I said hi to her a couple of days ago. And I just like to show this for those who kind of are confused. So, about how to sew things in. So, this, I know I want six inches on either side because that's my typical journal. So, we'll put six inches here and I'm going to fold it. And if I get it right, it'll be really nice. And then what I've started doing is just kind of fold it on one side. Make sure it's all the way it needs to be. And then use something kind of hard to... Clint, he did sew um, two of those interface piecings together. Which worked out perfect for, for the thickness. Which is good since I have like $50 worth of worth of pieces that I'm not thrilled with. That's what we have on the inside. It's supposed to be a extra heavy weight, but these last ones have not been, and the person I normally purchase from. Sorry, I'm just making sure it's nice and clean. Okay, so we have that one, and then I flip it do my six inches on this side. That determines my spine. I tell you, even though there's no hair in here, there's hair. Boy, for me, living on the cat's <laughs> face. I think I'm going to have to do some uh, videos just of the cats for you guys thought about doing some and putting them on my other channel at home with Shell and Clint. Clint and Shell. So yeah, it does kind of um, interfere with the basket, but we knew that was going to happen. So, but then you have a really good spine. So, I like it. I think it's cool. So, and it's supposed to be about two inches, and it's pretty close to that because it is a 14 inch spine. So, I need my, huh. <laughs> I don't know where I put that, how funny, there it is, this thing my diggy. go ahead and put the top at the top, and then I just kind of fit it in there, instead of making a whole new, um, whole new thing, template, kind of using the same one, just want to try to make sure they're somewhat centered, I think that's pretty good, and then we'll use the pen that I just keep in my, kit, you're not going to see these black marks, they don't bother me too much. Just so you can see them to punch holes. I always say, so you can't even see those. See those, so I can line those up again. There they are. Okay, keep your eye on them, Michelle. 
just a old telephone book. There we go. One, two. about nine. Okay, it's a little bit over. That's okay. Okay, so we have those punched, which is good. Then we want to look at our pages and see which one we want first. I think I want this one. Um, and you want to kind of go through it and see if there's anything you want to rearrange. Make sure none of the pages are upside down. And you want to go all the way through it because even though this page might not be um, might be right side up, the back page might not. <laughs> Trust me, I know. So, like this one, I want to put it up just a little bit, and then I just go through it all because, like my belly band, you know, could have been upside down even though the other part might not be. So you just want to take your time, look through it, and take that minute or two. Just verify that everything's where you want it to be. So I did want to make sure that that is in the corner. Okay. So then you're just going to kind of do this. And I definitely believe in clamps. <laughs> and what I do is I do one in the front, top, one at the bottom on the opposite page. And you just want to make sure everything's staying well put together. I really like using four though. Sometimes I do use three. It depends. Okay, so then you're going to take your template. So make sure top is top, <coughs> line it up, and then you're going to put your little mark and hopefully see it. Now I told Glenn, I'm doing some of this stuff like hundreds of times, and he says, do it 101 times. Because <laughs> there are people who don't, who are new and don't get it, you know. So uh, you do want to make sure you keep it really good at a V, and then just press, I open my book, and this is a three, three stitch pamphlet, a three pamphlet stitch or something, I don't know, three whole pamphlet stitch, right, I think that's what it is, and by doing that, you'll have your holes directly on the spine, which is what you're aiming for. So look at your book, make sure you have your right right page up, <laughs> and you know this is the first one, so you want to make sure you work in the first holes, and this is coated linen thread, I believe I have it listed below, and you want three lengths of it, that's going to give you plenty. I was just thinking about charms. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, do I have butterfly or er, ladybug charms? Wouldn't that be pretty? So we'll see. We'll see what I have. But it will leave you plenty if you want to add charms. You can. I go in the center. You can find your center hole on the front side because you're going to have two holes there. Use a dull needle if you have one. It's just easier. It doesn't punch your holes for you. And then you want to make sure you're in the right hole. This one, you know, I just want to make sure I'm in the right one. I'm there on that one, so I know it's there. But yeah, sometimes you'll go in the wrong hole. Just make sure. I mean, you can cut these spines out if you want to, but um, I mean, cut them out and redo them. So much easier to do it. Do it right the first time. 
and just kind of make sure it's in the right area. I kind of like to go through what, you know, I experienced when, <laughs> when I um, started. So again, in the same hole. There's nothing like a big bummer. You think, oh, everything's right until you go to, to the next one and all that. Okay, what did I do? I did something wrong. <laughs> Should have went back in that hole, right? Yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> okay, so you're back out. Then you go back in the middle hole. Then we're going to go up to the front hole, top hole. That's me doing and not thinking about doing. Okay, and the reason you want to do it like that is you have this one piece on the inside. And I take your needle and just slide it underneath that, and that's going to help you pull it taut. You don't really want to like pull up on that unless you just make sure everything is tight, and you just want to make sure everything's tight to the spine. This is the best thread that I found to tie in giant needles, which is good because I accidentally ordered more than more than I thought I did, and you can take it all off. It doesn't really take that long once you get going. Some people like to be in a really quiet place <laughs> to do this, so just do whatever works for you. Same thing with the second journal. I'm going to go through it, or the second signature. Like this one, I want to slide it down. That. Ooh, I love, I love that. It's so pretty. This is such a, such fun papers. I told Clint I really want more of these papers. I'm going to move this one. Or not. One further to the front. Let's put it here. And there we go. Just kind of went too much with that one. Again, go, go ahead and go all the way through. Look at this one. It's upside down. No! Michelle, you're such a big goober head. I know, I know. Because look, do you see what I did? If I put it right side up, my pockets are upside down. <laughs> okay. See what I mean? you got to pay attention. Attention to what you're doing. I think I'm going to pull that, this off. I think that would be easier to fix and re re, re glue it. I tell ya, Michelle messes up too. <laughs> but it was just that straight stitch. I know I probably glued it to the page though, huh? We'll see. But we can make a pocket or something right there. I don't know if I glued it. That's what I'm trying to figure out. To cover that page up. That's okay. I'm just going to pull it off. It's such a fragile page anyways. But yeah, that's why you want to pay attention. But... I'm very happy that I figured it out before I <laughs> before I sewed it in sewed in my signature, you know. Okay, this I'll have to cover that up, but that's what I'm here for is to show you guys what not to do. Okay, so that's that's the straight side. Oh, I tell you guys. Somebody probably told me that. Sorry if I didn't hear you. Let's sew it back on real quick. <laughs> uh, you guys. Okay. And that's why 
why we do a looky booksy through. Okay, I'm just gonna do it right there. Change it to straight stitch. Yeah, it really would have been been a huge bummer had I not seen that before I sewed in my signatures. So then I'd have to figure out a different way. I heard something. What is that? Is that mine? Huh. I don't know. Okay, so <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I hope you're laughing with me. So we could do it like that. That would be okay. That would be the back. Or that would be the front. Oh my gosh. That's too funny. Let's just do it like this. And I'll show you how to fix that huge rip. Now, if it was in my book, how would I have fixed it? Probably the same way. I probably would have went ahead and pulled this off and just glued it instead of sewing it. Okay, so let's keep looking through here and see what else we want to do. Oh my goodness, too funny. There's that bugs I want to cover up. That's just my personal preference. I know bugs are a huge part of the ecosystem. But if you don't like them, don't look at them. Don't use them. There, I forgot I wanted to remove that piece. And another thing about fabric flips, and I wanted to talk about that really quick. Okay, everything else is good. <laughs> but sometimes you will... If it's too long, it might get bunched up in there. So if they're really long, you can kind of fold them like this. And then kind of do it like that if you want to. Oh, you guys. Sometimes I crack myself up. But I know that we all make little mistakes. And what I try to show on my channel is how I go about fixing them. That's one reason I don't edit. And we did used to edit years ago. And I was telling those people, um, you know, that was showing her quilt. I was, I was saying, you know, what, uh, and her name's Grace. I can't remember what his name is. But I was talking to him and I said, you know, that's one reason I don't edit. Because videos would take me like two to three hours after I finished recording. And... You know, I figured if Gail can do that, and I haven't been editing for a long time. Oh, I tell you, I didn't even see that one. <sighs> Something's wrong with me today. <laughs> so you'll see this one on Monday. Because I am trying to to do videos a few days in advance, especially with work picking up. And I have more people that prefer to see them daily than those that don't. So. And you know, I understand my videos may not be the ones for you. It doesn't hurt my feelings if you choose not to watch. Okay, so. I'll set that there and then I'll put everything up. <clears throat> Again, I want to make sure that everything's the right way. Okay. And is my needle still here? Okay, good. Again, you want three. The length of your signatures. So these last you for a long time. 
rules. And like I said, I do have this listed below, but you get two of them. And I thought it, you only got one. So I ordered double. So I'd have two. So I got four. <laughs> Oops. I need that needle. <laughs> but yeah. I thought I had another one in there. Okay, so again, we're going to start in the center and inside, pull it down, and you want to kind of keep track of this one. You don't want it to, to get away from you. Now, I always go down. I don't know why. It's just a habit. You could go up if you wanted to. Do what works for you. Through the bottom, back through the center. and back through the top. That one came together pretty easily. So then, again, you're gonna go take your needle underneath, give it a tug, and that's when I go ahead and pull that out. And I always pull this and make sure it's really good and taut, tight to my book. And then I will this one's kind of long because I didn't really leave that one. And then, if I'm not ready to put my charms, I go ahead and just trim these down so they're not bugging me while I'm decorating the rest of it. And we have our book. As you guys know, that's my favorite part. Okay, and then here's our fabric flip. Straighten that out. And yeah, there's a book. So first thing I do before I do anything else is I go ahead, put all my pieces back up. So I'm not, not losing anything. And keep it in a 12 by 12 container. You could go smaller if you um, didn't have a big old phone book. Some people just use small books. And then I just make sure everything I use is in here and put my pen back. And then that stays put away until I'm ready to use it again. So there we go. How fun guys. I love it. I just love it when it's a book. And you know what else I need to do is we need to add our um, tie. I meant to do that before, but it's not going to be that big of a deal. So what I'm going to do is kind of hang it upside down. We're not in frame if I do that. There you go. Emma. Okay, so I'm going to look. It is upside down. And like I said, I'm just going to put it kind of in the center. There's nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's ten, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just come in about a quarter of an inch from this seam. 10. <coughs> I thought I measured that. I thought it was 9. <laughs> I do not know. Oh, I know what I did. There is 10 blocks, but it's because I centered it. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Check it. I like to double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to come the same way. That way our ties are right across from each other. And then I think I'm just going to use the big bite. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Did that startle you guys like it startled me? And 
Man, I know I want the big one, so... Like I said, I've had this one for years, but it does not work very well on eyelets for me. So... Actually, I should do it. Well, since I marked it the outside, I'll just do it there. Yeah, I never can get the eyelets to work on there, and I know I read everything online and how to do it, and one of them works, and then never again, so I don't know. Okay. So we're going to put eyelets. It's a little bit different than how we typically have been making them. my white eyelets. I'm going to have to get more white ones because I really like them. Okay. And our little guy here. Make sure it's on the right settings. I'm going to just pop in an eyelet on the outside and set it. Perfect. Perfect. Like that. Okay, and then let me show you this. This is one we chose to use. I got it from my scrap cabin shop. So you know what I'm gonna do? Write that down. I find my thing. Okay. Trying to do better at that. Etsy. My scrap cabin. I get a whole bunch of those a couple of times a year and just whatever colors. And usually that's what we do. So what I do, let me show you want to, not that way, <laughs> match them up, because I figure I can get two of these for, per journal. I can get two journals per stuff, so I'm going to cut it in half, okay, and one of those will go back into my collection, <clears throat> and then this one, Quite long, you could do it, you know. Um, let's if you wanted to, but I like to double mine because I like that bulk, bulky tie. And then we're going to double it again and cut it. So that's what we're going to work with. So we're going to work with half of that one. And it is crinkly, so I like to pull it out and get my little thing and that's I'd either sew that in or in this case we're going to put it through our journal so I have to remember how I like to I can get a little teeny piece and there's our tie so again just go ahead and spread it I mean pull it And then I just put that like a corner of it in there so you can grab a hold of it. Like that. And then you're ready to tie it. And see, I still have plenty of room to, to decorate. And then I just, I like that look. And I think that's so, so pretty. It kind of matches. And I, I still have the cover to finish, but I ordered some stuff online, so it's going to take me a few days to get that. So, I see you could have even done that towards the end if, it's, if it gets on your nerves or anything. Um, I'm going to go find some charms. We're going to do, start doing some decorating. I think we still have about half an hour, so let's see what we can get done in that time. 
Okay. So I do have these that Miss Leslie, see Leslie, I have plenty. <laughs> Sent me. I couldn't remember where I put them, but track them down in a couple of minutes. And just gonna kind of look through all those. Look through these, see what I have, if anything, that I want to use. I'm looking for flowers. Ooh, look at that pretty heart. Okay. It's a contender. <laughs> flowers or um, kind of uh, garden type stuff. Here's a carrot. I don't think that would go. Flower garden type stuff. <laughs> Here's a cute little flower. It says, and me. Tiny handcuffs. A chicken, rooster. Can't wait to show you guys what got plant. Well, he'll, he'll have to show you, but it's funny. It's not here yet. This is a dog person. If I do, I'm talking about doing a dog journal eventually. Maybe a cat in a dog journal. Oh, come on. Did I not see any keys or anything? I don't see any keys. Just kind of thinking about, you know, what I would want to put in my journals. Okay, so I have a couple I might use. And let's go to my other other charm things. That's one reason I wanted. Well, I have that one box thing I think, Leslie, that you got me from Harbor Freight, and I thought I'll put these in. You know those empty ones. Once I get really uber organized. <laughs> so yeah, might take a while. Okay, so let me see what else I have here. If anything. Now you don't have to put charms in it. Some people just like tie it into a bow. But I really like to use charms if I have them. You know, I've even we have like a little butterfly. In here sometimes I might have some I know in the one I don't think I brought it over but I have like keys and stuff so I might go back over to that one it's not in here those are bee caps that I got aren't those pretty okay hmm. Okay, let me go get my keys and stuff. I think that's what I'm going to go with. So let me go grab those. Yeah, I'm getting really low on these. I really need to get more. I kind of like the copper. I don't use the copper very often, but I think it would work really nicely on this journal. I'm going to pop these back in. I'm not too thrilled with them. There's a butterfly. It kind of has a copper tint. It's gold, but it's kind of that's rose goldy. Let's see. Let's do those. Do I want a key on this one? And look, I'm almost out of butterflies too. Oh, this is kind of a tragedy. <laughs> okay, I need butterflies, keys, and hearts, locks. I think I'm going with those. Three. Okay. What we're going to do, so we're just going to tie those on. I was hoping I had like a, um, 
what are those things called? Ladybugs. Now you could just put them together if you wanted to. I just do them separate because I usually have a lot of charms. And obviously I've been using them more than I thought I had. I went through all my charms. I do have those organized in here, so that's a good thing. So, then I just kind of kind of leave like an inch. That way if it starts to come off, you can tighten it if it kind of comes undone. I don't think it will, but just to be on the safe side. Cute. I kind of like to put keys and hearts together. actually still quite a bit that I want to make for this journal so hopefully by the weekend it will be um, uploaded in Etsy but hopefully I can get all that done for it you know okay This one, I'm just going to put a key. I just think it makes them, it's just charming. Charms make it charming. go. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video just because um, I really want to start decorating and stuff and um, I don't want to be like in the middle of that you know when we're doing this. So uh, yeah we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, watching it come together as, that's still one of my favorites, as a um, actual book. That's always my favorite, is just to see it, hey, I made a book, kind of thing. Looking for this other one, just to make sure they didn't glue down. Cool. They look so cute. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye.